I found a dumpster to search. But before we do that, I have a couple of skill points to spend. Let's put one into perception and the other one into lucky looter, taking it to level three. I know there are some people that think this is a waste of points because we're in the pine forest where loot kind of sucks to begin with, but it does give us a 15% loot bonus, so whatever. Feathers and lead, and we already have a screamer. That's great timing. I got the campfires running. I fired those up before I started to break through that glass panel. Here she is. Don't run into that barbed wire, lady. I want to keep you alive for a little bit. Trees are still growing. How about our crops? Yeah, they're still growing. All right, come this way, lady. Oh, that window's open. That must be how she got inside. I want to uh, turn these campfires off. I put a decent amount of wood in them, so let's not keep them running right now. Just a waste of wood. I know, I should have just made logs, right? Instead of burning individual planks of wood. I can't tell you how many times through the years people have told me to do that. And I'm just too hard-headed to listen. Alright, let's see if we can get some loot bags. There's still a couple of fires burning. And speaking of loot bags, I've been doing a little research. So, someone did send me a modlet where uh, it increases the odds to 99%. So, it's not a hundred, there is a small, small, small chance that a zombie might not drop a loot bag, which I like that. Uh, and then, there's also a mod called Mega Loot Bags that increases the odds of a loot bag drop from 2% to 20%, and then it increases it more for feral zombies and specialty zombies or whatever. But, with that said, dude, I had no idea the loot bag drop percentage was only 2%. That sucks. That means we got to kill a hundred zombies to maybe get two loot bags. I severely underestimated that when I started this. I didn't realize it was so low. Now, I'm not going to implement either of those mods into this current series. I already said we're going to ride it out the way it is, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, I did change it to Horde every night, but that really just makes it more difficult. It gives us more opportunities to get loot bags, but we got to kill the zombies to do it, and at night, they're runners, which makes it more difficult, so uh, Horde Every Night doesn't make this any easier. In my opinion, it makes it more difficult. Uh, but, ow, shit. Um, in terms of a new series where we can only loot from loot bags, I haven't decided yet if I want to go with the 99% or the 20%. The 20% is going to require more work. Got to kill five zombies to maybe get one loot bag. Where, as the 99%, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to get one with every kill. So I just got to kind of think that through and uh, see which way we're going to go with that. There we go, finally. I can tell you right now, when we do another Trapped Inside series, which I'm going to in a different POI, because a lot of you guys are digging this idea and this concept, we're going to use the Mega Loot Bags mod, which uh, increases it from 2% to 20%. I think that's fair for a Trapped Inside series. 99% is too much for a series like this, but in a series where... Uh, you can only get loot from bags. Maybe 99% does make sense. Now here's a question for the loot bag only series. Does mining or salvaging with a wrench count as looting? That's something I've been thinking about. All right, let's see what we got here. Meh, recog, red tea, that's good. Beer, <laughs> some shotgun shells. We'll drink that beer during the horde tonight, maybe. Hey, lady, you need some help getting in? Let me help you out. Might as well open this up, so if any other zombies spawn back here, they can get in easily. But anyway, my, my current thought is, if we're going to do a series where we can only get loot from loot bags, then mining and salvaging shouldn't be allowed. Especially if we're going to change it to a 99% drop rate. 
then we just we just have to rely strictly on whatever we can find in those bags. Come on in, lady. Let's hop out here. Grab these bushes. Oh, hi there, little guy. Now, come here. No! 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 Give me! Uh, maybe I can reach it with the axe. There we go. Not gonna get as much with the axe, but better than nothing. Let's go and eat these pieces of charred meat, which will further dehydrate us, but hey, we found that red tea at least. Let's go fire up these campfires again. See if we can bring on another screamer. Maybe we can get lucky and get one more loot bag. Let's check on those pumpkins. Ah, oh, they're still growing too. Alright, gotta wait. Alright, we got one. Sounds like it's coming from over here. Now, I've seen a lot of people mention this ambulance. You must have missed the first five seconds of episode one, because that's the first thing I looted before I entered the hospital. So, that's already looted. However, breaking through the roof there, and using a ladder to get down to the ambulance, is fair game, and I will do that to take the ambulance apart if we ever get a wrench. Oh, sorry, Screamer Lady. Didn't mean to hit you. Don't want to kill her yet. She's definitely got at least a couple more screams left in her. Yeah, so apparently they can only scream like three times or whatever. They don't have infinite screams in them, so trapping one wouldn't really do shit. I do feel like, though, the longer you keep one around, the higher the chance that another Screamer will spawn in. And that's based on nothing other than my own experience. Which, as a matter of fact, it sounds like we have another one around somewhere, so we could take this one out. Give me those legs. Maybe we can just make her a crawler. Oh, I hurt her knee bad. You just got Nancy Kerrigan, bitch. Everyone who wasn't a kid in the 90s is like, what the hell is he talking about? Ow. Yeah, that is definitely another Screamer. Oh yeah. She's like right out there somewhere. Now that's gonna start to get crazy. Out of my way, motherfucker. We got zombies coming in from every entrance here. This hatch uh, is pretty hurt. Let's repair it just to keep the map bay for a second. And let's make a couple of more hatches. We'll put them down in this hallway here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I forgot I put that frame down. I just sandwiched myself. That's okay. We're fine. I gotta put these hatches down anyway for the horde tonight. Should probably extend this hallway a bit, too. All right. Come on in. Man, they absolutely chew through these wood hatches, and I did not increase their block damage at all. Look at that. Holy shit, that's a problem. You know, I think uh, I'm going to rely more on this area tonight. I think we can actually turn this into a better base than the hallway there. The only thing is, do I need forged iron to repair this? No. No. I can do it with raw iron, which I have a ton of. Oh, I can actually upgrade it to cobblestone, but let's leave it iron for now. Now, he should poke his head up right there. Yep, and I could whack him. Come on, get up there. I'm really close to the other zombies, though, so that's kind of dangerous. But I feel like we can make this work. Oh, shit. Uh, see? I can hit him. And if they pile up underneath, and not right there, maybe I need to knock one more section of this ladder out. Uh, 
Oh no, I think this might work. Look at that, baby. We need to be a little higher off the ground. That's what we need. So, definitely some changes need to be made here, but I think we might be on to something. This would be great with throwables. Oh, shit. Nope. That's not good. Yeah, that ladder is too close to the ground. We need to make some alterations to that, but I think between the hatch hallway, we, we start there, and we try and get some melee action in, and uh, if or when that fails, we can run to the ladder. Damn, man, who's holding all the loot? We got more screamers. This shit's getting a little crazy, I'm getting a little lag. Definitely got a lot of zombies around. I'm gonna take her out. And there's another screamer. Oh boy. It'd be nice if they were at least dropping loot bags, you know? Uh, gotcha. Okay, out we go. Comes another screamer, dude. Crazy. Taking these ladies out. If I had some stamina. Well, this is what I get for talking shit at the beginning of this series. Like, oh, this is gonna not be so difficult. We'll just rely on loot bags. This is gonna be fine. I thought we would have at least a forge by now. Dude, we found one forge ahead book. One! That's it! I don't even give a fuck about the forge ahead books anymore. Now that my infection is back above 50%. It's going to start taking tolls on us. It's going to start uh, lowering our stamina regen, which I think it already has done that. Uh, but then it's going to start taking points away from our perks and shit, from our attributes, which we got to keep an eye on. Because once it does that, we're not going to be able to uh, jump two blocks high anymore. You know? I don't want to rely on parkour. All of a sudden, that perk is gone because our infection is too high. Haven't we killed a hundred zombies yet? Where are my two loot bags? Oh, this is straight booty. And not the good kind of pirate treasure booty either. This is the nasty, stinky, sweaty, hairy, just took a shit booty. Yep, our stamina regeneration has been reduced by 25% because of this infection, but we have not yet lost any points in our attributes. I'll keep an eye on it. Got ourselves a whole nother horde right here. Not one loot bag. Three skill points. Uh, there's a spider monkey somewhere. I'd like to uh, take that thing out as quickly as possible. There it is. Got it. Where'd it go? Did it jump off the building? Well, at least our shotgun is reloaded. We'll be ready for it. Really? Oh, come on. Sit it with an arrow. There we go. Oh, man. It's rough. It is a hard knock life up in this hospital. So many fucking zombies. Stamina. Oh, this horde fight tonight is not going to be fun. That hallway is not going to last. I can get maybe four power attacks in before I have to take a breather. And in case you forgot, I have no 9mm or 7.62 left. All I have is shotgun shells, and of course the only shotgun I have is the pipe shotgun. So, we've got our club to rely on, the pipe shotgun, and our bow. Oh, and I do have a couple of pipe bombs. Definitely using those tonight. 
Well, thank you. Not even excited anymore. It's like, it's expected. Like, yeah, no shit. Just killed fucking hundreds of zombies. Thank you for my one loot bag. You son of a bitch. Got a few corn seeds there. Let's replant those. And our pumpkins are ready. Nice. Got a couple seeds there. Let's replant those. It's not bad. All we can do with the pumpkins right now is make jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, everything else is locked, so uh, I'm just going to eat them. Now, it seems like they were having a hard time getting up here. Because it's a tight fit. So I'm thinking if I destroy this block and replace it with a half block, it'll be easier for them to get up there, and then it'll be easier for me to shoot at them. I'd like to put a couple of hatches right here as another choke point, but I don't have much wood left at all. And we're gonna need it for repair work. Let's go check the status of the trees. If they're not ready, we can get a little bit more wood around the hospital from things like this. Not enough to make the hatches I want, but at least enough to keep up on repair work. No, they ain't ready. I mean, we could cut down the smaller ones and replant them, but I'd rather wait. This one took damage. I don't think that's going to affect it from growing. Yeah, I'd rather wait for them to grow. Because then we can turn these four trees into eight trees. All right, here we go. Time to stop eating corn and focus on the task at hand. Our infection is at 57%, so dying from an infection in a hospital may very well be how this series ends. But I've never died from an infection before, so that's cool. It's like, you know, something we can add to the list. And it would be the funniest way to go out, so I just gotta make sure these zombies don't kill me. This is insane. I got... I should use a bomb. Catch, fuckers! Oh, good throw. That was a good throw. Yes, and a loot bag dropped. Beautiful. They almost broke through that hatch. This hallway is not going to last long. We got four skill points to spend. Can't worry about that now. I'm not going to frantically try and spend skill points during a horde. We'll spend them in the morning. Yeah, not bad. More power attacks in a row than I thought with this reduced stamina regen, but now nah, it takes so long to get that stamina back. Oh man, I can hardly keep up with the repairs here. All right, fuck it. Here's another one, our last one. Oh, good throw. Beautiful, man. I wish I had 20 more of those. Stand up, Mo. Stop being a dick. I'm gonna drink this beer. That'll help with stamina. Oh, it's gonna blur our vision a little bit. Shit. I... Oh, no. No, no. That was a mistake. I couldn't keep up with the fucking repairs, dude. They're, they're destroying the hatch quicker than I could repair it. All right. Well... I'm going to find out how good this ladder is going to work. The only change I made... Oh, shit. The only change I made is I destroyed that block and put in the half block like you guys saw. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. Doesn't seem like it so far. Ow! 
We're completely exposed to birds right now, obviously. And spider zombies, shit. Oh, man. Not good. We're gonna have to circle around. Get back to that ladder. I mean, or I could pop this up. Maybe? No. No. Wasn't quick enough. Shit. Oh, no. I didn't mean to use another first aid kit. Oh, things are not going good. Oh, okay. Let's go this way. Cut through here. I got three frames on me. So we will stair step our way up here. Okay. Going through here might be a mistake. Yep. No, lady. It's bad. Bad lady. And I could take two of them out with one shot. Nope, not even close. Fuck you, Mo. Fall down. Thank you. He died too. That was that was nice, Mo. Appreciate that. Comes a stripper. Nah. Stop. All right, we got to get out of here. This leads us into the ICU. And our base is blocking one of the ways to go, so there's only one way to go, and that is this way. Here comes a businessman. Nice. All right. Uh, excuse me, lady. I got to go through here. If I had stamina, that'd be great. I wish I was able to put a hatch in that doorway there. All right, back to the ladder. Jeez, we can't be running around like that. With the reduction in stamina regen and the fact that I haven't put any points into cardio yet, that's just asking to get killed. Hopefully we can hold down the rest of the night here on the ladder. Oh, shit. Freaking spider monkey, we got to get this thing killed. Got it. All right. Spider Monkey is dead. Hey, poke your head up. There you go. Oh. Shit. Man, we gotta... We gotta fix... Oh, no. That guy got all the way up now. Now I can shoot him through the scaffolding bars. That's good. I'd like to melee him, but if I go down there... They're gonna hit me through the bars. Oh, this sucks. Ow! Fuck you, Kenny! Damn it. Well, they've all decided that this is a better way to get to me. And they might be right. Let's hope we can kill them all before they figure it out. Well, you know what? We got four skill points to spend. Might as well throw one of them into Boomstick. There's a dog. Never mind. There's not a dog. I'm assuming their goal here is to make steps up to the third floor, because currently they don't have a way up to the third floor. So I'd like them to not do that, <laughs> you know? Otherwise, then we gotta remove all the steps from the third floor up to the fourth floor. And eventually we'll be on the roof. Unless the infection gets us first. Almost at 60%. So far, only two loot bags have been dropped tonight. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck you, Kenny. Hope none of the others saw that. Because that is a clear way to get to me right there. Uh, no one else is trying it. Oh, she might try it. No, she fell. Oh, he wants to try it. Come on then, bitch. Try it. You going for it? No? Nice. Oh, yeah, right through the skull. All right. 
Just a couple more. This lady and this guy stuck in the block right there. Oh, never mind. Here comes another one. All right, that lady's down. He's down. And she might be the last one. I don't know. It's hard to tell. There might be others stuck somewhere. Nice. Grab these arrows back. We're going to need them. Boom, baby. Got another one. Fire axe, food, and some 9mm. Oh, I, I see a pill and I get excited. That's not going to help with our infection, but it will allow us to uh, eat some more animal fat if we need to. It'll also allow us to drink from the fountain, but we're going to take damage drinking from the fountain. Oop. But if we're uh, dying of thirst, we could do that and then, you know, use a first aid kit. And at least we won't be dying of thirst. Anyway, we need to do some serious work to the base. I have to really think that through tonight. And uh, we'll get some work done this morning. These trees are still not ready to cut down. Hopefully they will be in the morning. Because we are low on wood. Anyway, I'm going to get down to the kitchen. Take it easy for the rest of the night. And we will pick things up here on the morning of day 9. I'm thinking at this point, it might make sense to do two days in one episode. You know, if it's going to be just Screamer Hordes and then the Horde at night. If that's all our days are going to consist of. It might make sense to record uh, two days in an episode. And there we go. Our attributes are down by one now. So we can no longer jump two blocks high. Got to keep that in mind. Man, this sucks. It is starting to eat away at us, this infection. We better find some antibiotics in the next episode or we are in serious, serious trouble. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Trapped Inside, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.